in today's video, man, I'm highlighting a video and putting it down in the description where a WNBA player is pretty much on a on a, a, a talk show or a, a discussion panel with some NBA players, and she says that the salary of one NBA player could cover the salaries of the entire WNBA. And she says that the NBA players should pretty much give charity to the WNBA players. Once again, the women of the WNBA strike again. Let's talk about it. Praise to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at an in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, there are truly some professions out there where you can do what you love for a living. Okay? You can do what you love for a living, but they're not very lucrative. And the WNBA is a prime example of that. You know, the average WNBA player makes just over a hundred thousand, just over a hundred thousand dollars. At the highest, the highest paid woman athlete in WNBA makes about 240 some thousand uh, a year. And when you think about the average WNBA player, man, I'm in the, I'm in the armed forces and been in the armed forces for, for, for 17 years. We make the same thing. And we see this again uh, with women, especially in acting. They sign up for these careers, these jobs to carry out their dreams, to do what they want to do, and then complain that it's not lucrative. They complain that it's not lucrative. And here's some of the facts, man. When is the last time you've seen somebody walking around in a WNBA jersey. Better yet, when is the last time you've seen somebody with a, a WNBA drawstring bag or gym bag? When is the last time you've seen somebody in a WNBA fitted? You know, when you're driving in these cities and you see murals of athletes, how many WNBA players have you seen murals of in these cities? Man, there's even, there's even uh, videos showing and, and pictures showing people showing up to WNBA games with NBA jerseys on. And the fact of the matter is the WNBA is a bad investment, meaning they're losing money. Yearly, they lose money. They struggle to fill, uh, you know, stadiums. They struggle to sell merchandise. They struggle to sell tickets. That's just the reality of it. And here you have women that make uh, more than your average woman out here. You see what I'm saying? When you think about the medium income, they're winning in that aspect, but they make more than your average woman. But man, uh, just imagine what it's like to play on, on TV, to be televised. WNBA, the title ring, the title sounds good in a woman's head but the all actuality of it man if you're not able to dunk or something like you're not you're not drawing if you're not putting up the points like a lot of the points you're not hitting that two hundred and forty two thousand dollar bracket you get in that if your average hundred thousand dollar you know a year and if you're below average but you're qualified to be in there man you're looking at like 70 you see what i'm saying 60 and depending on where you live, man, yo, you could be struggling. You could be struggling. And, uh, you know, Draymond Green pretty much got upset because he was like, man, male NBA players are your biggest supporters to try to uh, push that brand. But I'm not giving you no damn charity. And, and, and we see this oftentimes uh, with women. They will choose and make some of the worst, uh, the worst logical choices and then want charity 
uh, from people. And I tell you, you know, for the women that get in the comments and say, oh, no, nah, you shouldn't be talking about this. Go support the WNBA. Just, just, just unsubscribe yourself uh, from this channel. But if you got something to say here, your, your, your comments is not helping these women who you claim to be fighting for. You know, go to a WNBA uh, website and purchase some merchandise. Other than that, there, there, there is no argument because it's a losing, uh, it's a losing agency. Ask somebody like, in the media, the last two big things that we've known from the WNBA is Brittany Griner, okay, and then uh, there's this chick, Caitlin something. And basically, she was pretty much gaining some buzz. And what was exposed about her? Daughters of Zion blatantly fouling her after the whistle because she was getting some buzz. They was hating on her. And you want, like, if you watch this, if you put on a, a, a NBA game in your house and put it on, Watch everybody tune in, exciting. You seeing dunks in this? Put on a WNBA game and watch. Somebody gonna be like, "Can we change the channel? Can we? Can we watch something else?" I'm telling you, this stuff is a bad investment. You know, if if, if you want to live out your dream, it's like people out here that want to be artists, and you don't hear artists saying we need charity. We need donations. People know that doing art is a struggling career. You're doing what you want to love. That don't mean you're going to be compensated uh, based upon how you feel about it. No, that's not the way it works. WNBA is an example of that. Man, you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't advise my daughter to go into the WNBA uh, just because the, the amount of abominable women that are in there. I don't want my daughter to be nowhere around that. I'd rather my daughter uh, be raised and reared to be a wife rather than to be around uh, these women who got that masculine spirit on them. You already uh, larger than your average woman. So that's that's already making you not, you know, already kind of outcasting you. And then don't let you have a, a, a loud and obnoxious masculine spirit to go with that size. Oh, hell no. Hell no. Nope. But the NBA, WNBA is a bad investment. And oftentimes women can't see the statistics. And they just, uh, they, they, they fight these, these battles and these arguments with their feelings and their emotions. And there's no logic behind it. When you look at the ticket sales, you know, when you look at market sales, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. The math doesn't math. WNBA athlete strikes again, looking for charity. Closer to y'all ministries, kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. Bow.